Floor cleaners, hello, this is John Williams. We are launching a brand new YouTube show today. It is called Carpet Cleaner Show with Roger and John, John and Roger, whichever way around you wish to put it. My company, AGB, we specialize in digital marketing for the floor cleaning industry, carpet cleaners, tile cleaners, hardwood floor cleaners. We're the guys that get you booked out with jobs so that you don't have to. And we've partnered with this guy right here, Roger D. Lloyd of the carpet cleaning world fame of Carpet Cleaning World University. Many of you watching this may well be in his group. There's 11,000 people in there. He's also got an in-person event that goes on four times a year across the USA. It's really exciting. This guy is a legend in the industry and I personally am massively honored to have the opportunity to work with him. We're on a personal mission together now to try and help as many floor cleaning business owners as humanly possible. Not just survive, but thrive. There's a lot of people out there talking between you and me crap and we're coming here to put that right tell people how to take things to the next level to be successful without going absolutely bananas and crazy at the same time over the coming weeks me and roger are going to be putting out this show we're going to be sharing our best hints tips hacks cracks to take your floor cleaning business to the next level but in this first video in this first series i want to find out a little bit more about our co-host here roger we want to hear about his story about how how he came to be, where he is today. I want to find out more about his coaching programs, the Carpet Cleaner University and all that cool stuff so that the viewers that you guys watching this can get to know him a little better. Listen, you may well actually be in his group. Now's your chance to get to know the man himself in this video. So Roger, welcome. And uh, I'm really looking forward to going on this journey with you. I'm excited about this new show. What I want to do, Roger, is I want to go like right back. Tell us what year you started your carpet cleaning business. I want to know the circumstances leading up to it. What were you doing before? What made you start a carpet cleaning business? What made you decide to start up? Basically, tell us the story of when, why, and how you started BioClean. First of all, John, I want to thank you for having me and doing this. Like everyone, my name is Roger Lloyd. As John said, I am the administrator, senior administrator of the Carpet Cleaning World Facebook group. It's been around for about seven years. Since then, we've started the Carpet Cleaning World University Facebook group, but it's much more than a Facebook group because like John just indicated, we also have the two-day event where you come out, we have all the leading truck mount manufacturers, Hydromaster, Steam Action, Judson, El Diablo, and it goes on. All of them will be there and they'll take part. So if you ever wanted to learn and see and know about the truck mounts and you wanted to test them out before you put thousands of thousands of dollars in investing in your business, this is one of the events you want to come to because the manufacturer will be there, the, all the machines will be there and you'll get to test them out and you'll get to know like verse heat exchanger verse propane verse diesel whatever they'll all be there and trust me you definitely want to do something like that because just like me I had bought a propane machine and I just didn't understand it because no one took the time to explain it to me. Now I have a heat exchanger unit and it's safer and it's just a whole lot different. And you just, at these events, you get to learn a machine before you invest thousands and thousands, just like I indicated. Now, John just asked, how did I get started? It's kind of funny. I was working at a telemarketing company. I was a little you know, kid. What year was this, Roger? Sorry to interrupt. 19, thank you, John. 1995. Nice. <laughs> wow. The 90s. It's, yes. And so I met a gentleman when I was working at a telemarketing company that in the evenings he was selling what's called the rainbow vacuum cleaner. That's mm. a uh, vacuum cleaner that has a water-based filter, no, no big deal. But anyway, it, we used to get $100. It was a $1,000 uh, machine, a uh, vacuum cleaner, very expensive, right? So mm. we used to go in people's homes and do demonstrations. And they used to train us how to go in and make it like this vacuum cleaner was the end of all means. So <laughs> I had a sharp tongue, so to speak. They thought I was pretty good at sales because I was selling at least three of them a week or so. I, wow. You know, I was a kid. This was three extra hundred bucks and all I had to do was talk. 
So (laughs) the owner of the company said, you know what, Roger, you're pretty good. We want you to train all our guy, all our new guys that come in, but we're going to send you to carpet cleaning school. So you'll really know about stains and fibers and how to get them out and things like that. I was a kid. I didn't know anything about it. John Don's was the one holding the IICRC classes for Mm. carpet cleaning. So they sent me to the school at John Don's. It was awesome. I met another guy that was like 22 years old. I'm going to keep it brief. And he had this truck mount and he pulled in. It was shiny. It was cool. I had never seen a truck mount carpet cleaning machine in my life. And he was like, you know, a year or two older than me. And he was, I was like, yo, how, 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 what are you, what is this? What are you doing? And he explained it to me. This was on lunch from the IICRC class we were taking together. And he was like, oh, I make about $250. I was like, a day? He was like, no. He said, a job. I'm like, a job? I said, how many jobs are you doing a day? You know, I'm like 21 years old. I'm hungry. I have no kids. I have no real girlfriend. I'm just hungry, just spun sucking it up. And he was like, I do about three jobs a day, maybe four if I feel like it. I said, how long does it take you to do? I only had a port, you know, I knew nothing. I didn't even have a portable yet. And so he was like, oh, it takes me about an hour and a half. And so I was so like, I all I could think of. And then this guy and I went out for lunch after, you know, on our own one day. So we, cause I really was interested cause he was a year older than me and he was making this kind of money. And he was, he pulled up cause he picked me up cause we went out to lunch. He picked me up in this I Rock Z. Back in 1995, that was one of the coolest cars, little T-top. And he's like, he's 22 years old. I'm like, oh, my God. (laughs) And so I got into the business that way. I started training guys for my boss at Rainbow for a little while. But he really wasn't paying me, and I wasn't able to go out and sell the vacuums. So I wasn't making my three extra hundred dollars a week. But he he wasn't paying me to train. So I told him, I said, I need to be paying the train or I'm going to start a carpet cleaning business. And he laughed. He laughed. He was like, oh, you know nothing about business. You're just a kid. It takes a lot to start a business. I said, I know a guy that's 22 years old. And he laughed and he laughed. So I'm the type of person when you laugh at me and when you challenge me, I'm mm-hmm. going to push forward. And that's what I try to get a lot of my carpet cleaners to do. Don't think that you can't do it because you don't have the funds or you don't have this or the number one thing that John at AGB does, the calls. Stop trying to do it yourself. And anyway, so, you know, I was excited. So I had a meeting with my brother-in-law and my sister and I got them to invest, but they weren't going to invest more than $3,000. So the only thing I could get was a portable at the time. And, you know, I got it and it was cool. It was a big, shiny portable. I, I was in business, but it wasn't the same like when I went out with my buddy and with a truck mount and even the customers, I realized that when you do residential carpet cleaning, if you're serious in the business, you want to have the right equipment. You want to have the right look. You want to have the right things. So to make a long story short, we got into this. I met my wife, who's phenomenal. She works with me. She runs RLMA services, which is exclusively for the floor carrying industry, just like John's AGB. But um, we do the EDDMs. I'm not going to get into all that in this series here but we're going john and i are going to explain that to you it's very important i know this is a world of social media today i agree with you but there are a lot of older people like my mother and john's mother that still look at ads that come in the mail and you know so you want to be well-rounded so if you can be well-rounded and now with agb partnering up with john if you don't have to worry about a flood of residential calls coming in on social media. Why do it all? I know you can try in your mind, you can try to run a very good, successful Facebook campaign, paying Facebook and Instagram a whole ton of money, making a whole lot of mistakes. And I'm not saying this to hurt anyone's feelings. I was doing that. Mm. So then, you know, you got these guys, everybody's, oh, we can do your social media. We can do your social media. But when I met John, there's so much more, but we're not going to get into, John is going to tell you about all everything AGB does, but it's just so much easier. The text blast that's added every 90 days, the monthly email that goes out on clockwork. So you don't have to do it. You don't understand. At 51 years old, I had a stroke at 45. I had one of the largest carpet restoration and mold remediation businesses in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. I have videos and all to prove it. Guys, I was good for 40 to 45. 
$5,000 with a four truck operation every month. And so then, of course, of course, you know, nobody has a flood in the middle of the day. It was a lot of work because I always had to be ready to go in the middle of the night. And it mm. was great money. But I had young children. And my uh, wife of that time was like, you know, it's, it, you take good care of us. But, you know, uh, you know, you're so tired when we like go see, a, uh, I think Star Wars or something was coming out. And I had my sons on my lap and I just passed out. Wow. And if I'm a major Star Wars fan. That's wow. when my wife at the time was like, you know, I know you're taking good care of us, but you got to hire somebody else. You got to get some more help. And it just, I did hire someone and he wasn't doing it like me. And the job started not being, you know, so then I got back into it. And unfortunately, my wife of that time got tired and she moved on. And that's, it wasn't me. It wasn't her. I had take, it was me. So yeah. when I say to you guys, somebody like AGB that can take a load off stop yeah. thinking you're going to save a buck yeah listen charge more if you have to pay more charge more if you are watching this if you do own a floor cleaning business if you would like more jobs if you want to get booked out on autopilot if you would like to find out a little bit more about working with us head down to the description below where you'll find a link to schedule a call with us and we'll run you through how everything works and we'll get you signed up and we'll change your life for the better we'll change your business for the better and on that note see you on the next one guys Later.